Riding elevators has become a necessity for all of us in the Cayman Islands. Over the past few years, buildings have increased from two to as many as seven floors. This May, the Cayman Islands Planning Department will implement updated elevator codes to ensure the riding public's safety. The new elevator codes were necessary because we really haven't had implementation of the existing codes because we didn't have an elevator inspector. As such, elevators were installed throughout the islands, um, mainly by the industry contractors who um, would work on their own without too much government regulation per se or oversight. That's why the planning department decided to formalize the process and update the safety codes for elevators and escalators. Because the American Society for Mechanical Engineers writes, writes these codes, they're generally up to date with the latest technology for uh, equipment that they're writing codes for, in this case elevators. What we have done is adopted those codes pretty much off the shelf. As a jurisdiction have an authority, we can make changes to those codes. In this case, we've made two additions to that code right now, and that is for the certificate of operation, which is a which is a placard that will be placed in each elevator to give the public as well as the industry assurance that the elevator that you're riding has been inspected, when it was inspected, and when it needs to be inspected again. The second uh, change or addition that we made to the codes was to add a fire service key box as a requirement uh, in the location of elevators, on the outside of the elevators, that the fire department will have the key for, and that they can access a specific elevator key that can control that elevator in an emergency, whether they need to shut it down, move it to a different floor, that maybe there's a fire on the floor, something of that nature. Along with the new codes comes a new employee. Gerald Mazur and his team of trainees will now oversee elevator inspections across Cayman. Well, there's two types of inspections that we perform. One is on new and altered equipment. We test and verify the safety devices, the safety circuits, uh, the stopping devices, the clearances, electrical, mechanical, as opposed to an existing elevator inspection, which is done pretty much on the type of elevator behind me. An existing elevator is in a building that pre-exists uh, uh, the current code. And there was, it was basically installed under the previous code where it was almost self-policing. What we're attempting to do is to invoke a new code that addresses specifically existing elevators. Updated codes are necessary to protect and serve the public, but also to add added security and protection to the elevator installer and maintenance personnel. Local businesses weighed in on the ups and downs of the new code, a code they must meet when installing elevators and other conveyance equipment on or after May 1st. We met with the industry contractors and got their feedback into assisting us with the design of the processes. They should be on our website. It's fair to say that most were very comfortable in the fact that we could agree a release date for the latest code because most of the manufacturers were already actually adhering to that code or to that level. So from the installation side, we were all very comfortable with the fact that our installers are well enough trained and are working to those code requirements already. So. So yeah, the, the meeting was very positive. Um, we got a consensus to, to step up the, the date for the introduction of the new code, um, and it was very amicable. Uh, I think it, overall everybody just wants to make sure that the installers are safe at all times while doing the installation, and that the customers can be satisfied that the elevators they are riding in actually meet a regulated standard. The Cayman Islands Planning Department will place a certificate of operation like this one in all compliant elevators. Steps are still being taken to bring older elevators on the island up to code.